Headline news for Monday, April 4th from the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com. Peter Katz reporting. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Michelle Bachelet said this morning she is horrified by the latest images the world is seeing of the Russian military slaughter of civilians in Ukraine. She calls for independent and effective investigations into what has happened as numerous other reports, photographs, and videos show more and more evidence of war crimes by Russia in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky spoke via pre-recorded video during last night's Grammy Awards telecast. He urged the world's musicians to continue telling freedom's story through their music. Musician John Batiste won five Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Congressman Jamie Raskin predicts that the seven-hour gap in presidential telephone records while the Capitol was under attack January 6th likely can be filled in by investigators using other sources. Raskin serves on the House committee investigating the January 6th attack. Use of burner phones or other non-governmental phones by former President Trump in attempts to hide to whom he was talking could be evidence of a cover-up of acts he knew to be illegal. Six people were killed and a dozen more wounded in a mass shooting over the weekend in Sacramento, California. Police believe there were two shooters. The shooting was on a street where nightclubs and bars predominate. There had been a street fight before the shooting, but police did not immediately know whether the two were connected. Hungary's strongman president, Viktor Orban, was re-elected over the weekend to another four-year term. Orban has been closely tied in with Russia's Putin, despite harsh criticism from leaders of other European Union countries. Billionaire Elon Musk of Tesla fame has bought a 9.2% stake in Twitter, becoming that company's largest shareholder. It was disclosed in a filing today with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Stay in touch with the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com.